Okay, I figured I'd show you a quick video of how I'm doing this by capturing um, this and sending it to my switching software. So as you guys all know, the game system is inside the controller. So I took an HDMI cable out of there to the input of this because after all, that's inputting. Then I'm taking it output to the monitor, which is right here taking that one and plugging it in, you can see right here it is, it's the one that's built in, so it's going to that. Then I'm taking this one, and it's coming all the way over here to the input of the NewTek Connect Spark. Now these will go for about 100 to 150 bucks. It's wireless, you can do it with ethernet, you can plug it into here, and this runs with NDI, so if you're using Wirecast or OBS or TriCast or anything that has um, high-end video production, um, you can grab this signal over NDI, over the network, and take it into your production software. And so basically all I'm doing, this is the only cable that's going to come down the back, and I'm just going to kind of pinch it between the boards because you don't have to tighten it up real tight. And it'll just sit here, and it's plugged right into the extension cord down there. So that's the only wire, and very simple. Um, these splitters will go for 20 or 30 bucks on um, Amazon, and uh, they work great. So that's how I'm doing it. The other way you can do it is get a capture card, like from Blackmagic, um, and split it off. And then you're just going to have to run a long HDMI cable, which I didn't really want to do that and drill any holes into the cabinet. So I opted to do it this way. But there's more ways to skin a cat. Hope you guys like this. Bye.